says Dr. Felix uh, Cabrera. Uh, 7-Eleven, we'll just uh, keep it in the KUAM News Zoom room. as uh, We had a crazy start to the show and just right out the gate uh, <laughs> from the Physicians Advisory Group. <laughs> we don't even know what we're laughing about it. <laughs> <laughs> More coffee. More coffee. Yeah. Dr. Hall, when uh, Doc, so as Dr. Cabrera said, uh, vaccinations available at a few uh, clinics. Uh, do you know offhand? I know AMC, obviously, uh, but which other clinics are offering a uh, vaccination? Uh, you know, good morning, Chris. I mean, morning. Um, basically, uh, AMC, we've been doing the vaccination now for uh, uh, the past three days just for our patients that uh, meet the criteria 60 plus and uh, with comorbidity. You know, we really try to uh, get the um, uh, public can really go out and inspect you know, FSB and SDA uh, and, and try to get them online too because now this is where you're going to need all the hands on deck just to get the immunization out to the people. And I know that FSB and SDA see a large number of uh, 60 plus um, uh, population in their clinic every day. Uh, so as the patients sit in front of you already, uh, you might as well give them the vaccine right there. You know, so. Um, the longer we wait to, for that process, the, um, you know, the slower we are in giving the vaccine out. So I uh, really am uh, going to push um, uh, DPHS to go out and do the inspection and make sure that they can clear them um, this week and we get started because the on the clinic side, you know, we do vaccination six days a week, you know, uh, for our patient. Um, so you, you can reach out a lot of people um, within the, um, uh, you know uh, the, a week time frame, so you know if we can do, this clinic can do you no know, uh, 70, 80, 90, um, you know immunization per day, you know so we can get you know more than a thousand people in a week uh, plus. So uh, uh, those two big clinics, as in FHB, need to come online as soon as possible. Did what? you say how many you you vaccinated already? Your clinic? Um, we actually about um, uh, I think uh, first day uh, we got it late, so the last two days about seven to eighty per day. Um, so we're still ramping up the um the vaccine. You know, this is on top of what we see on our patient every day. So um, we uh, have some uh, nurse visit only. Um slot to open, uh, but we're mostly we give to the patient that have some kind of care management um, that come in to have the appointment already. Uh, we still have the um, the annual wellness uh, visit for the Medicare patient uh, this week and next week. So we're going to target um, uh, all those Medicare patients uh, that, um, that fit the guideline. Um, I think we're going to ask more um, more um, vaccine dose um, starting tomorrow, but we are running out with the vaccine, mm -hmm. the first 300 dose. And again, this is for 60 years and older, right? Yes, yeah, 60 okay, years so and older. We uh, can't go. Yes, uh, that have comorbidity. So we have quite a bit, um, surprisingly, mm -hmm. you know, uh, a lot of patients go to the clinic has um, uh, met that criteria. Mm -hmm. And right now we're just doing, um, you know, the AMC uh, Manila and Tumon. But we hope to get the uh, AMC Oka um, to come up on board probably today and tomorrow mm -hmm. so they can start to give the Medicare population that side also. Mm -hmm. Somebody is asking, do we need to make an appointment at AMC? You probably said um, that. You know, they can call in and um, the nursing staff will instruct to put them on the waiting list. What happened, um, Sabrina, is kind of tricky. You know, the, every vial that we open, we can draw out from 10 to 11 those to be giving out. So we compile a list of people in the waiting for uh, to get the vaccine. So once we open, we really, uh, for the patient that have appointment in the clinic, if let's say we open and we only six patients, so we're going to go down that list and start calling people to come in to get the vaccine. But we, we, we don't want to waste any shot at all. So yeah. it's important for us to every location AMC have, have a list of people in the way to get the vaccination. So yes, you know, I encourage people to call and, and we're gonna put them on, on the list there and we go down to the list um, if they fit the criteria 60 plus and above. Has anyone had an adverse reaction at your, at your clinic? No, so far no? it's very good. I tell you there's no one have adverse reaction at all. You know, um, 
Again, I told my staff that, you know, I completed two series already. So there's no problem with that. All our staff get the vaccination. None of them miss work. You know, uh, you have a little bit of sore arm here and then, but it's not a big big problem just like you get any other vaccination. Doc, uh, we had, I got a message from uh, PD Mayor Alleg. Uh, he writes, thank you, Dr. Ho and AMC. Uh, they will immunize registered PD homebound residents and their caregivers this Sunday. Uh, those who are registered by January 8th. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, you know, we don't have to do that, but you know, since we, uh, we, during the weekend on Sunday, we just want to to put a team together and 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 reach out to the homebound and uncle and uh, their caregiver, and we just like to put a team together and and we contact the, the mayor and, and say, hey, can we go out there and 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 give the shot at home for those homebound and uncle? You know, it's. Uh, it's something that we can provide and help public health in a way, so uh, we don't mind doing that. So, and if we uh, doing okay at PD, we we might pick another village and and reach out to to see if we can help out during the Sunday again. What about the PAG meeting tonight? Um, we heard from Dr. Cabrera on what uh, he anticipates he'll be discussing. Anything on your uh, plate? Yeah, we really um, we pass out the. the proposed uh, quarantine guideline uh, that we put out, um, you know, we really have to, to nail that down to uh, some new guideline to go forward. I, I think that as we go toward the end of the month, depending on what the car score and everything in the United States, we really have to kind of um, change our guideline a little bit. Uh, we always want to push for the 72 hours you know, from um, testing prior coming in and look like CDC up, uh, pushing that way too. So. That's something that we like to change and our guidelines um, coming up. So we would, we will have to kind of discuss a lot more in depth on the new quarantine guideline. Um, so what is the proposed quarantine guideline? The 72 hour uh, pre-arrival? Uh, pre yeah, 72 hours prior to arrival. Is that also for domestic or just international? Because CDC is just international because, because uh, we are we, well, US. Well, for us, you know, depend on what they consider and you know, sometime you no, know, Guam considered international. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a, we like to consider domestic, but I think sometimes they <laughs> consider it international. But um, so in, anyone that coming from any country, uh, and including U.S., you know, well, they they still going to we try to push for some two hours, uh, you know, uh, pre-arrival testing. PCR uh, to uh, yeah the PCR. Yeah, there's nothing else besides PCR. No antigen, just okay. PCR testing. Um, and to come in and then um, they try to, we're going to try to, to do the um, post arrival testing with the antigen at the airport to try to, that's the second testing and then testing out on day number four, number five in the, in the Q factor and then try to get people to go home a little bit earlier if they have the uh, PCR testing some two hours before arrival. So uh, we're going to push a little bit. That's a kind of three prong testing uh, program and that that pretty much nail down and protect the island uh, island pretty much if we do that. But it has to be a talking, discussing the pack and then uh, public health to be a, a they will be on the meeting. So hopefully we can work together and, and propose that to the governor and, and whenever she feel comfortable to implement it, then we can uh, implement the new guideline. Right. Just, Dr. Wynn, uh, test out day four, release day five if it's negative. But is is it, um, if you're released, do you still have to do the rest of the quarantine for a total of yeah, 14 100%. days? Or? Yeah, uh, Sabrina, um, testing out on day four or five, and then they have to finish off the seven days home quarantine. And you know, one of the conditions is that they have to download the set alert in the mm -hmm. Guam COVID app still. You know, you still have to have those things and the next seven days, you're still gonna be home quarantined. You know, Doc, we had, uh, had often heard you talk about the monitoring for the home quarantine um, last year. Uh, are, where are we on that? Does public health still uh, monitor? Because I've heard just so many people who've come back and had to finish out the home quarantine and they don't hear from public health at all. Yeah, that's something that um, uh, we ask and um, and we're going to ask to see if anything changed in the home quarantine. Uh, I think that's basically personnel 
um, that's that's um, based with the, the limitation of personnel. I mean, they they do so much on the testing and they do so much on the immunization. Um, so uh, I don't know the, the the manpower. You can't pull enough manpower to to right. cover all three area. Um, I, I, that's why you know I think regarding testing, um, um, you know we the, they need to involve some somewhat some private side to do the testing to help them out, and also and the and the immunization side they really need to get all the uh, player like the guard. Um, the private clinic to do the the, the immunization because it had to be the whole island. You know, it can't be just one organization because they're going to be overwhelmed very fast. It doesn't matter how good you are, you just don't have enough manpower to do all three things. Right. What about PCOR two? Um, you know, um, I think the lieutenant governor uh, gives you uh, everyone a hint. The PCOR two probably will. Uh, be along with the with the um, the opening of the school. So I, I think um, by this weekend, you guys should have something um, from the governor's office. What about bars? You shouldn't have sued Auntie uh, Lou. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it is what Auntie it is. <laughs> I think I can still drink uh, my wine at home. I think, <laughs> right now. <laughs> so happy hour at Hoa's house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay, I but, a day. Uh, okay. Uh, guys, um, I know. Please, you know, ask them. Um, the message to people is that even after you get the musician, you know, please uh, practice your three W still. You know, don't let don't let your guard down. You know, still again five percent of people. Still can get very sick. You know, yeah. You're only nine five percent. So the question is, uh, are you in that five percent? Right. Yeah. yeah. What time are we heading okay. out on Sunday in PD? Uh, I think we start out about eight o'clock in the morning. Wow. We have about uh, nine homebound Mononco. We're going to vaccinate the homebound Mononco and also the the primary caregiver. Okay. So, okay. so their caregiver. Okay, that's good because yeah. I know that was an issue yes. whether or not their caregivers were going to be able to. No, get no, no, no. You have to. Yeah, there's no sense to mm -hmm. immunize the um, the mononco at, at home and and forget about their primary caregiver because that's you know uh, they the one that um, go in and out and, and put the risk on the elderly. Okay. So yes, we're gonna do the primary caregiver also. All right. Thanks, so you're, Doc. You're gonna start at eight. Are you gonna be done in time for Mayor Alec to get to mass? <laughs> uh, depend on how much that they ask questions. Okay. You know, okay. Uh, so no questions, guys. Answer, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we yeah. stay there as long as we feel that feel that comfortable. So that way, we make sure we wash, make sure there's no side effect. Yeah. And then we move to the next house. Right on. Thanks, Thank you, Doc. Okay. Always good to have you on. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Be have safe. a good day. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. All right. Uh, Dr. Ho Wen, uh, 724. Guys, we got to take a break. Uh, we'll be back with more of the link on the breeze, 93.9.